Today's tutorial, we're gonna be building this transition. All right, to get started in Fusion, we're first going to come up to our effects library and we're gonna to go to generator and pull a solid down here just so that we can make our uh, compound clip so that we can build something in Fusion. Once over in Fusion, we're just going to take our in and out and slide them to the side for now. And we're going to turn on um, snapping to grid. Uh, our first thing, we're going to be hitting a shift space bar to bring up our search window. And we're just going to type in a background. And with our first background, we're gonna just pick a random color. Um, I think today we're going to go with lime. I'm really a fan of Lime. Um, to view this particular node, we're just going to drag it up into the window or press one or two, depending on where you want to view that particular node. The next thing we're gonna do is have this node highlighted, ship spacebar again, and we're going to type in rectangle and then hit enter, and we're going to have a rectangle. Um, over here for our center, we're just going to type in two, or 0.25 to get it to come on this side over here. And we will take the height and stretch it all the way out. And let's set this to fit. Okay, and it's currently fitting. Now the idea is you're going to make a background node for as many colors that you want in this. So let's have three colors for mine. So I'm just gonna click down here, shift space bar, and then background again. And one more time. And we're just going to disconnect this for now. We can leave the merge node. So in here, I'm just going to pick a couple other colors. I think I'm gonna go with a white and with a gray. Actually, a gray. Lifting this will just reduce the transparency, as you can see down here in the alpha channel. All right, and we're just going to connect the rectangle to my three colors that I wanna use. And the next thing I wanna do is for after our first node, and these are in the, the order in which we want them to appear. So our first uh, one is going to be the green, then the white, and then the gray, okay? Uh, our second node here, we're going to hit shift spacebar and we're going to type in time and we're gonna get time speed. And then here we're also going to get time speed in these two. Uh, we're gonna come back to our rectangle and we're going to animate this rectangle now. I would come in a couple of frames, so I'm just going to come in, let's say five frames. And then we're going to click the keyframe button here. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit by holding down control and mouse, mouse wheel to zoom out. And now we're currently frame five, wow. <laughs> frame five, we have a keyframe and we're gonna come up to frame, let's go to frame, we're at five, so let's do 15, so that's 10 frames. We're going to take our little arrow here and slide this over. And that's going to make another keyframe. I want to come up to my spline editor, click on my rectangle, click this button here to see all my keyframes, highlight my keyframes, and then hit F to get curves. And you can hit T to edit your in and out, whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it like this for now until I see how it looks. So what time speed is, it's just going to be a delay for the animation that we made to our rectangle. And our animation was we started here at five and it's filling up half the screen and it just comes out. So that was our animation, like a little reveal. And that ha that works for all of these because that's the alpha for all of these. So next is we're gonna take our time speed and we're just going to change this a little bit. So this one, I'm gonna put four. And then for this one, let's do four, let's do six and see how this looks. Now I'm going to go from our background one and connect it to our time speed one. And then from our merge to our time speed two. So the idea here is that the background 
This one is going to be overlapping this one because this one's a foreground. And then this or both of these in this merge are going to be overlapping here. But these are also going to reveal because there's a delay on them. So let's go into our merge two and see how this looks. Let's go to fit. Okay. Now, if we wanted them to be further apart or closer together, we could change the time speed as well as changing the spline, our um, curves here. So that's completely up to you. And if you wanted to add more colors, it would just be the same exact way that we've done this. You would just increase your uh, delay. That's all you would do. The next thing is we're going to make this current animation that we have displayed on the other side. So out of our merge two, or whatever your last merge node is, if you have more colors, you're just going to put in a transform. I'm just going to bring this over here and I'm going to change my transform to 180. And now if I play this over here, now we have it on this side. Now we just have to merge the two. So we'll take the out of the transform and connect it to our merge two output. And then we'll get this merge. Now if we play this merge, we'll have it on both sides. So it starts and then it opens up and does the reveal. And that's pretty much it. There isn't a ton to it. Um, if we wanted to add, like I said, more colors, we would just increase the colors. If we wanted to use the same color, we could just add more time speeds and then just route it from another color. Let, let's do that quick. So I'll just click here, put in time, time speed, bring it down here and let's bring our green down. And then here we will merge and then we will just move all of this. So we'll delete both of these, bring this over here, bring this here. And then we will take our current time speed. This one's six, so the next one, let's put this at eight. So it's another two frames and let's play from here. And there's our other color. Come back after it's cached. And it's as simple as that. There's not a lot to it. Um, if you want it to, you could have this go from any direction. If you want it to go top to bottom or if you want to have it on an angle and have it go out, you could do that. Everything is in this rectangle. So whatever you change in this one particular rectangle mask, all of the others will be affected by it. And then finally, to wrap this all up, I would just take the media out and connect that to our last node, which is this, this merge three here. And all we have to do now is just add a couple of clips in. All right, and then once we have our clips aligned and we have the transition at the point where it's covering up the cut, we can play it back and this is what it looks like. And it's that simple. There's not a lot to it. And with that being said, I think that's just about it for this one. If you have any ideas or suggestions, leave them down in the comments. And with that being said, my name's JR and thanks for watching.